What's up everyone? Coach David here. Mr. Defines Training. So you know what we got today? Leg day. Legs, bro, legs. You can't skip out on the leg day. You can't be having skinny legs like me. So that's why we're working on them today. Here's what we got. We got all these exercises. Starting off with squats. Six sets. We're gonna pyramid up in weight, go down in weight. First three sets, I first four sets. Three, three reps, three reps, one rep, one rep. Going up in weight, once we reach that top set of one, we're gonna back it down. Two back down sets of six and 10 reps. So we're gonna experiment up in weight, that's our strength, go back down, that's gonna be repping it out. Afterwards, we're gonna go into a little bit of assistance work. Me personally, I struggle with the bottom portion of the squat, so we got pin squats. All you gotta do, squat down, wait till the bar touches the pins on the side of the squat rack, pause, and then explode back up. Four sets of three with chains. Chains weigh around 50 pounds each one. I was about to say $50. <laughs> I wish. 50 pounds each side. So at the top, you got whatever weight you're using in the bar, plus an additional 100 pounds, 50 and 50. On the way down, you don't feel the weight of the chain. You just feel the weight of the bar itself. It's going to be getting heavier as you go up. Afterwards, we got lunges, working on the quads, focusing on that mind muscle connection. I don't want to hit my glutes, I want to hit quads. And afterwards, I'm gonna go down on some more glute slash hamstring work. Now we're getting a little bit more bodybuilding. Gotta get every part of the leg. Got my RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. Four sets of five, that's gonna be our main strength component. But other than squats. For, I focus the first three on quads. So this is my main strength component, my assistance, and a little bit of bodybuilding for quads. And then moving on to the hamstring and glutes, my main strength component, and then two exercises for bodybuilding, for looks. So I have to set RDLs, four sets of five, leg curls. Four sets of 10, reverse hyper. Think of reverse hyper as stomach down, kicking your legs behind you. Three sets of 10, don't need too much. Afterwards, gotta hit the biggest insecurity, which is those calves, bro. I mean, look at these calves, they're so small. That's why I always wear sweats. Only on leg days I wear shorts. I don't want anyone seeing them making fun of me. See your calf raises, three sets of 10. And afterwards, always gotta finish off with a little bit of core. Not abs, core. Abs are just here. I want to work on everything. It just so happens that today the emphasis is going to be in the front. Decline sit-ups. So obviously decline, put the bench like that, go down, crunch yourself back up. First exercise, take as much rest as needed since that's my main strength component for the entire workout. Maybe one to two minutes rest between sets. My assistance exercise for squats, 60 seconds rest after every set. Every exercise after that, 45 seconds rest before moving on to the next set. All right. With that being said, let's go hammer these legs. All right, I got the bar on the rack. I always start off with the bar. Just quick 10 reps with the bar. Boom, done. All right, let's get it. All right, so let's add some weight. Put intensity, let's be explosive. Make every rep look the same. Second play goes on, pay attention to the numbers. We got a side with numbers, we got a flat side. Numbers face inwards, flat side outwards. Move side, number side, number side. Mm. All right, right around this point, I'll start throwing on the knee sleeves. I don't rely on the knee sleeves the entire workout, literally for a max of maybe two, sometimes three sets, and they're always gonna be my heaviest sets. And for me, this way is not necessarily heavy, it's more of just 
protecting my knees. Simple as that. So slide them up and then unfold them. If you ever struggle with pulling the knee sleeve up, fold them the way I have right here. The top flat go down, bottom flat come up, grab, pull up, and then just unfold them. And like I said, I'm only gonna wear the knee sleeves for this set that I have right now, and then the following set, and then take them off. That's it, I'm done with sleeves for the entire workout. Now we start getting our sets of one. Same rules apply. Number space. And then on the last set is the one where I always have to clip. Just because it's my last set, or my, my heaviest set, I want it to be the best one. I don't want the plates rolling around. I want everything to be perfect. So I always put the clip, just make sure nothing slides around. All right, at this point, since my last set, heaviest one, that's when I throw on the belt. Belt, same rules apply as my knee sleeves. I don't use it the entire workout. Unlike the knee sleeves though, where I use it for two or three sets, Belt, just one set, which is my heaviest one. Not necessary, I always encourage, if you know how to freeze and brace properly, you won't need it. This is just more for a little extra support. But like I said, not mandatory, not needed. Just learn how to breathe and brace properly before ever having to throw on one Let's throw it on. Remember, a belt shouldn't be excessively tight. You shouldn't, it shouldn't feel like a corset. It should just be enough to when you breathe in, you feel your whole core pressing up against it. It's not like you shouldn't be able to breathe. All right, it's not to bulk your gut in. It's to help give you a little extra strength, to build a little bit of extra support. All right, a little bit of chalk. Throw my hands because my hands want to watch. It was good. It's only three plates. saw right now I went down and on the way up I got pinned a little I started struggling for me that's where I struggle that bottom half of the movement so that's why the next exercise that we're going to do pin squats is going to help work on that that bottom portion basically coming out of the hole all right before we move on to the pin squats like I said before no more knee sleeves that's it I'm done with my strength portion that's as heavy as I'm going I don't want to have to rely on knee sleeves I want my knees to be strong because the knees are strong, not because I'm wearing knee sleeves. All right, but before we move on to the pin squats as well, as I mentioned, that was our top set of one. Earlier I said we're doing a set of six and a set of 10 as our back down sets. The set of six is gonna be done with two plates and then the set of 10 is gonna be done with one plate. This personally is my least favorite part of the workout because it's more than five reps, it's cardio, especially on squats. Uh, I just don't like that. Alright, won't be needing this. And since these are high reps, I always put the clip because they're off the plates and they're sliding by the time you're done with the set. Alright, same thing with the other side. Two plates, set of six. Same intensity. This is lighter. Doesn't mean you should stop trying. 
Every set, every rep is the same. Okay. Just six. Now we've got one plate on the bar, step 10 to fin off, finish off the misery of high rep sets. So just 10, and we're going to move on. squats. Like I said, pin squat. For me personally, I set the pin right here at hole number three. Both sides. The whole goal with pin squats is you set up like a normal squat. You come up. Alright, you come down. Once you come down, let the bar fully rest on the pins and then come by. This takes out any momentum we'll be using if you were to bounce out of the hole using just uh, just a bar on your free weight. Right. So we're gonna do it with. Oh my God. We're gonna be doing it with two plates and chains on each side. So remember, the chains weigh 50 each, so that's 100 total. So come at 225 plus 100. That's 325 at the top. On the bottom, all the chain is piled up on the ground, and all that has to weigh. So then. It's 225 at the bottom. Get it? So three. You're gonna have to explode up. Remember, as more chain gets lifted off the ground, it's gonna become heavier and heavier. So you gotta make sure you keep the speed up, power through. because it's not likely that you'll hit both sides at the same time no matter how controlled you get. It's gonna bounce off, so it's gonna require you to stabilize a little bit more, but you'll get the idea. Come down, let the bar settle on the pins, and then lift it up. So I was raising it higher, more weight was lifted off the ground, so it just felt like it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier. But, bro, not too bad, not too bad. Now. Oh god, my legs still look small. Oh, 
Okay. I didn't film set two or three. That was set four though. Alright, so we're just gonna move on from here. We got our lunges. Now lunges. Just do lunges, man. I see people forward lunge, reverse lunge, regular lunge, walking lunge, whatever. Lunges are lunges. I just put it on the workout program and I decide that day what I'm gonna do. So for this one, I think we'll go forward lunges. So step, lunge, come back, step, back and forth. If you wanna do reverse lunges, backwards, if you wanna do walking lunge, whatever you want. Just uni I always include some type of unilateral work, so decide what you want to do. And just remember to stay hydrated throughout the workout. Since we're no longer squatting, I'm gonna use the squat shoes for the rest of the workout. These just help you have limited ankle mobility. Just helps you get a little bit deeper in the squat. Switch into the Chuck Taylors. I like being flat on the ground. Unless I'm doing squats, I have a heel elevated. Other than that, every exercise, I like flat toe, not band toe. That's me, Congress. Oh my god, look at it. I'm dripping on the ground. I saw a sweat. Ah, okay, let's get these lunges. I'll just do them with this, I guess. It's not too bad. It's not too heavy. The hard part is just getting up. Oh my god. I'm still feeling it from these pin spots. Alright, lunges. 10, 10 reps each leg. Okay. Make sure you set it. This thing weighs 90. Each tire weighs 35, the bar is 20. Alright, let's get it. All that that's 10 reps each leg you can do with dumbbells at your side barbell I just do it with a barbell over there all right so we got that for two more sets I'm not gonna record the other two it's the same thing as what you just saw so we're just gonna move on to the next exercise all right next exercise we've got RDLs Romanian deadlift so I'm just gonna do it with the same apparatus I'm gonna add some weight to it so you already had 90 pounds on it because 35 pounds higher, one on each side, 20 pound barbell, that's 90 pounds, and I'm adding a plate on each end. Alright, make sure both are on nice. That's good. So focusing on pushing the hips back. So pushing the hips back as much as I can, slide in the knees, really getting a stretch in the hamstring. And also, this is an axle part, it's thicker. So we're working on that grip strength, making it even more difficult. So, four sets of five. We're done with quads, now we're focusing on glutes and hamstrings. This is gonna be a main strength thing, so we're gonna do five reps. Right. Let's get it. Dead lift it up, RDL it on the way down. Ah, Alright, let's get five. There you go. That's five. I went slow on the way down. Really focusing on that stretch. The great thing I like about using these tires is if you can see right down the side, they're a little bit bigger in diameter than 45. 
So I know I'm going low enough if I can feel the tire touch the ground, but I'm not letting it bounce onto me, off the ground. That's why I'm letting it down slow. So it's one set. You got three more to go. Remember, right, deadlift it on the way up, RDL it on the way down. This part is lower than up here. Don't have it flat. Always down. And since we're going for high reps, 10, I'm going to throw on 50 pounds. Right here. Plus an extra 15. Right, so we got a total of 65 pounds in there. Four sets of 10. All the way up. All the way down. Nice and controlled. All right. Most difficult part is just getting in position. Uh, make sure you're all set. Alright, let's get it. Ten reps. Easy. Ah, there we go. Ah, so already feeling it. As you, can, as you saw, the, the roller right here where my feet go was touching the back of my thigh because I'm going all the way down. And you were able to hear the click of when this part hit the bottom part. So that's when I'm going all the way down. All right. Three more sets. Ah, got those last few sets in. Did them solo. It's the same thing. You don't need to be saying the same thing over and over again. You already get the idea. Next, we have reverse hyper. Now, if you don't have a reverse hyper machine, all you need is something elevated. Some elevated surface where you rest on countertop, uh, bench, whatever it may be. I'm gonna put my hips, my hip crease, on the front edge of these pads. And then if you have something to grab onto, you can. I just grab onto the rollers right here. Legs straight, kick out behind you. Think of it like they're just some hip extensions. Flexing the glutes on the way up. Think about like reverse leg raises, going backwards. Just make sure you're really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings. Get the full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. So we got three sets of 10. At this point of the workout, body weight for me is more than enough. Let's get it. getting it in and out. Nothing much to it, real simple. All I gotta do is find something elevated for you to rest on. Got the reverse hypers out the way. Next, three sets of 10, seated calf raise machine. Don't have a seated calf raise machine, but I do have the leg curl machine that we used earlier. All you gotta do, sit on the other end of it, find the bench or something to sit on. I like this bench specifically because the stands on it come out a little bit more and I slide my knees underneath the roller with enough weight on it. Boom, seated calf raise machine. So, I'm going nice and controlled on the way up, nice and controlled on the way down, really feeling the squeeze on this calf. Typically, if my girlfriend were to be working out with me, I'll have her sit on top of here, just to add more weight so I don't have to add so many plates onto the 
the actual attachment because if I add more plates, I'm actually going to come out too much and it just ends up hitting my shins and I can't go all the way up. Right? So you could even sit down and have a barbell over your knees to make sure you have like a cushion or something that you use and feel uncomfortable. And all I got to do is just the same thing. You got to sit down and go up onto your toes. All right, there you have it. That's my entire leg workout. The only thing that wasn't filmed, decline sit-ups, but just an exercise for core. Do whatever exercise you want for core. Planks, crunches, decline sit-ups, side bends, bird dogs, whatever. You just find something if you want to do core on leg day for whatever reason. That's all the exercises. First three, emphasizing quads. So I got my main movement, accessory movement, a little bit of body building, you know, just fine detail. Second part of the workout, focusing on hamstring and glutes. Again, got my main strength component, a little bit of body building, and some assistance work. And afterwards, calves are calves, who cares? Just works twice or the worst in the season. And then core, you want to work on it. That's it for the entire workout. I always stretch after a workout, so make sure you stretch out those tense muscles, roll them out, do whatever you have to do for recovery. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Right, I'll catch you all next time.